I wanted to talk about the issue of consultations, particularly to these projects for smart parking. Allow me to acknowledge honorable MPs and my councillors that are here. As part of the city, our value statement includes integrity, accountability, and transparency. And we engage stakeholders at different levels. Firstly, when we have ongoing projects in terms of updating them of what the city is doing, and also when we have new policies that are coming in place, but also when we have new projects. In this instance, we did invite stakeholders to a meeting to discuss the parking. And I've gone through my register from our invitations. We invited about 72 people, uh, 72 companies. And these institutions included um, the residence associations, it included universities, institutions of learning, it included transport operators, business, um, private players, property owners, and also the sectors such as people with disability, hospitality, banks, as well as the public sector, your police, and the NGOs, as well as um, the other partners that we work with as a city. What is worrying maybe from the city is that from our attendance, 18 institutions or representatives came from the register. I'm saying the register because right here we are filling registers. If they were not important, we would not fill them. So let's not say registers don't matter. But what matters from those registers is when someone attends a consultation or a consultative meeting with the city, what is their input? Because our letter stated that we are having a consultation on, pub, on, on public transportation parking, on public parking. And the people that come, they should come then representing their institutions. That's number one. Because when we consult and you write your name on that piece of paper, you are representing an institution. You are not representing an individual. If I come to this meeting and I put my name as Nessisa, I don't have to put BCC when I'm not on duty, when I don't want to speak for BCC. But if I am speaking on behalf of the council, I can then put the name of the institution that I represent. So some of those organizations that are saying they're not represented, they did have people in that meeting. And what then, um, arises from us as a city is what then happens when someone leaves the consultative room where council was um, engaging them is there a feedback mechanism do you go back and say to your uh, portfolio or to your um, stakeholders that you represent this is what council was saying so i'm asking and taking it back to citizens let us engage meaningfully let us come back to the city and inquire because if your institution is on that register and in attendance please empower the people that come to ask the right questions but i think also it's going back to the gentleman um i, I think it's school of integrity i like that name school of integrity is asking us as citizens when he was speaking and when we are speaking one of the figurative uh, symbols that we saw is this one there's a lot of pointing but all these three fingers i say what have i done we are building a country, we are building a city. It's good to come and we have these allegations. Let's bring evidence. We are the residents. We know where Mr. Nure lives. We know what he is doing. We know the business. Why can we not capture it? Are we not able to capture on the phone and say, this is the mining equipment that he has. This is what he is doing. These days with social media, why are we not bringing the evidence? Because the allegations have even gone as far as um, the, 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 the anti-corruption commission for investigation but if we as residents have the evidence but are sitting on it but are content to keep speaking because some of these allegations are investigated and nothing comes up so i think we need we really need to rise up as a community and not tolerate it because if we keep quiet and continue to say uh councillor spanda did this so and so did this let's bring evidence and say councillor spanda i've gone to the zrp i saw you yesterday this is what you did or this is the the evidence we just have to rise to another level and also we talk about um people that we elect forgive me councillors that are not capacitated but we we do the the, 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 the the election we do the voting and then there's organizations like such as these ones let's do the capacitating of both residents policymakers and technocrats let's let's move together 
because it's a level, it's a new level that we need to go to. And that level will not take us pointing fingers. It means I also have to be transparent as an individual. It's not right for me if I know that he, he was given equipment and um, it's clandestine, it's corrupt. I must then make a position to say, one, I will expose him. Two, I will not be part of that business. Why are we supporting it? If it's in Bulawayo, let's, let's expose. Thank you.